Aging is an unnatural process of the human body. As Ivan Petrovich Pavlov, Nobel Prize winner in physiology said, the death of a person before the age of 150 is a violent death. There are enough examples of long livers in history. Thomas Parr lived 152 years. Mahmud Bagir Oglu Evazov lived 152 years. The Chinese herbalist Li Ching Yuan lived 256 years, leaving behind 180 descendants in 11 generations. To date, there are discoveries indicating that in the human body there is a cell cycle that will allow a person to live indefinitely. While studying the possibility of body immortality, in 1985 scientists discovered a telomerase enzyme which actively builds up the ends of telomeres. This enzyme was first found in unicellular organisms, then revealed in tumor cells, and later in ovaries, in other words, germ cells. George Otto Gay, professor, a cell biologist, experimentally proved that cells with an active telomerase enzyme simply ignored the phenomenon of aging. He took cancer cells from Henrietta Lambert, who died in the 30s of the 20th century, which are still successfully dividing in an artificial nutrient medium, despite the fact that Henrietta is long dead. They are called Hella cells. In 1960 it was discovered that these cells feel good not only in terrestrial conditions, but also in weightlessness, in space. At the end of the 19th century, Karl Maximovich Beer, naturalist, concluded that what a cell is made of can live forever, and accordingly a human cell as well. There are also cases when people in old age, for unexplained reasons, begin to completely turn younger in body. Moreover, dentists know cases in which deep, old people suddenly began to teething like babies, or teeth grew three or four times, and the impetus for this sudden change was a change in the body's genetic structure. Friedrich Leopold August Weismann, a German zoologist, wrote that germ cells are in fact immortal because germplasm can survive for millions of years. Alexis Carl, a well-known cell culture specialist, surgeon, Nobel Prize winner, proved, proved that aging is not the result of processes occurring at the cellular level. Therefore, aging as such is completely unnatural for the human body as a highly organized being, because it has a whole system and programs of protection against biological death.